I've done the upside down thing again. Hello everybody, it's Mr. B from the My Master here and let it go. Let it go. Something about the snow. <laughs> Frozen. Frozen. Um, so we're all about let it go today. Uh, before I do that, awesome questions last night in the webinar. Thank you very much to uh, Lisa, who got back to me after I asked her a question and was able to help in a big way. So thanks, Lisa. You're a champion. Um, now, let it go. So we can have these moments when our kids don't do stuff we we will like. Oh, sorry. <laughs> when um, they're not doing as they're told, when they're not picking up their shoes, when they're not cleaning their room. And that can build and build and build and they stack on top of each other and you're constantly thinking about it and then it becomes obsessive and then you lose your mind, right? So that's where Frozen comes in. And when, if you're aware of it, and you start singing that song in your head, when you're feeling like you're up to your eyeballs in anxiety, sing that song in your head. Or even better, sing it out loud so the kids all know, and that's a sign for them. Bye. See you guys. Have a fantastic day. Oh, look at the little puppy dog. So we are... Uh, we are um, singing it out loud. That let's singing, let it go, let it go. You got another words though. Something about a frozen in the snow. Um, so sing it out loud, and that way the kids know that stuff has actually gotten to a point where you had to let it go. You're having an action which is changing the chemical balance in your brain. Um, that will help calm you down and bring you back. Uh, yeah, so just be aware of it when you feel it. Building, building, building. Sing out as loud as you can. You can do the dance. You can do the frozen dance and all. Um, let it go. And um, that will give you time to pause and think. And it's probably not as bad as what you're thinking and go from there. I'm not saying you need to let them get away with doing all these things. They still need to be able to uh, clean their room, pick up their stuff and do their chores or whatever it is. But it's it's the way we go about it that can actually uh, promote our kids not doing stuff. And if we're heightened and anxious and, oh my goodness, why aren't you doing that? It actually has the opposite effect to if we're calm, relaxed and letting it go. All right, so let it go. Let it go. Do you know the words, Kim? No. I don't actually know the words. We've got boys. We, we never we saw <laughs> no. but, but I've just been doing that recently. Well, you can do other things. It doesn't have to be let it go, but I just think that one's a, a good one. You get the arm movements and do the dance. If you'd like to see that, I'll take requests and payment. I don't think there is a dance. Yeah, no. Just she does payment. those ones with her arms. Uh, let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. That's, well, Adele's told us that, so that must be oh, right. Thank you. Thanks, Adele. Let it go, let it go. Turn away and slam the door. <laughs> I think she's... <laughs> Adele, that's excellent. That's very good. You can make your own words up. All right. So let it go, everybody, and boop, get that anxiety out of your brain. Thanks, Adele. That was awesome. Um, all right. You have a great day, everybody. And let it go. Cheers.